Hi everybody, welcome to a combined Asus ROG Ally and DAISY video. Because in this video, I want to showcase this little uh, handheld gaming PC running a DAISY local server with, with mods on it, locally, natively, and running DAISY at the same time. To kind of give you some ideas how maybe if you can get a device like this at the right sort of price, this could be a way into PC gaming and messing around with Daisy and local servers and mods and, and that kind of thing. Or as a portable solution, as an alternative to something like a, a gaming laptop. Because, you know, I've got a Steam OLED, um, 512 gigabyte, just got it before Christmas, uh, Christmas 2023. Love it. Fantastic device. Amazing battery life. Um it's a console-like experience, but it does run on SteamOS, which is Linux, so you can't do things like this. This is the ROG Ally. Asus UK kind enough to lend me one for a few weeks just to play around with it, but it is a Windows 11 PC. <laughs> That's what it is, which means that it's very, very powerful. It doesn't have as good battery life um, and isn't a console-like experience, but it's a Windows experience. So anyway, let me kind of let me kind of show you. So if we go into for example so if you're familiar with local servers you know you'll know that if you don't press that i want to just want to show you there we got daisy server there's my mods we're only going to have um zombie kind of running just to show you there's my batch file uh where is it start zombie turnus is there server config should all be familiar it's all it might be difficult to see because it's so small on the screen but we can press that so the local server is now firing up be familiar with these various bits that pop up like so and now what we can do is we fire up daisy the well the stop fire up the daisy launcher and there we've got yeah we've got all our mods there and then we've got servers there's all the normal stuff and then we've got lan so if we refresh the lan it should pop up we can see it's got two mods on it so let's join. There we go. So now it's going to join this local server. Now you might be saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But this is the screen is too small. I can work like this, so I'm going to give myself a headache. <laughs> That's true. But if you plug in the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck or any of them into a dock, which you can kind of just see here, or a dongle. The difference between a dock and a dongle, a dock has a stand for your for your device. On the back of this, um, there is a load of ports. So there's HDMI ports, there's USB-C ports, there's a power port, which means you can then plug it into an external monitor, which means that if you can pick one of these up for a bargain price, and I would say if I was in America and I was thinking about buying a handheld gaming PC and I didn't already have a gaming PC and a mature Steam library, I would be looking at best, look at Best Buy and look at the prices of these things because I know at the moment the sale's finished, but generally Best Buy and other places were selling the ROG Ally non-extreme version for $400. Now, unfortunately at the moment, I don't think you can actually buy it in the UK anymore. They've only really got the extreme version. And Best Buy were even doing, for, for around Easter, they were selling this thing for $300, which is an amazing way into PC gaming. And I, I would kind of, although I love the Steam Deck, and it is absolutely marvellous, I think the Steam Deck re is really a, an accessory for someone who's already got a gaming PC and a Steam library. Um, because I think that the thing about PC gaming is it isn't all about Steam. I know Steam is a massive part of it. But, for example, in my, my example, um, I have a massive Epic um, library because I've collected hundreds of the free games from Epic. And it's a pain to get the Epic Games running on the Steam Deck. It can be done, it's a bit of a pain, but it's very easy on this. So anyway, we were going <laughs> to... You're wondering where this... It's because I spawned some stuff in earlier, so let's go to third person. So here we go. So I press O. There's Zombri. Toggle God. There we go. And so we are literally running a local PC. Um, shall I turn the sound up so maybe you can hear some of the sound? I don't know whether you hear that. A local server on this little device. Now, obviously, if you're doing this off battery power, um, you're probably you know you're going to have limited battery because the uh, Rog Ally is running a um, Daisy itself, and it's running a local server, so it's going to be consuming more power. But if we go into 
Let's have a look at the FPS. Let's have a minimal FPS. So if you look at the top of the screen, you might well just see... I mean, this is a very open area. There's not much going on. So we're getting about 50 frames a second, aren't we? But generally, when you're running a local server, um, it's because you're playing single-player um, Daisy, or you're testing mods and that, you know, that sort of thing. So, for example, you know, just to kind of give, just show you. So, if we go O and go uh, free cam, there we go. So, there we have. So, I don't know, use case scenarios for this. I'm sure you'll be able to come up with different ones, but for me, it could be something like. Um, Say you wanted to work on Daisy uh, local servers, or you know, modding and and tr testing things out at work. And you say you had a nice hours lunch break at work. Well, what you could do is, and you weren't allowed to do it on your work PC. Now you and also you wanted to play handheld games um, on the way to work. Now, I've, I'll say straight away that Daisy PC, because this is the version we're playing, doesn't run great on GamePad. It, it, it doesn't. You know, they haven't ported the console controls over which they should do you really need keyboard and mouse to do this so this is a wireless keyboard and mouse that's plugged into a dock um, that then plugs itself into into the uh, into the rog ally um so you you know you're playing you know more um console pc type games on the way to work and you get to work and at lunchtime you've got a nice hour off you, you bring your dock with you you've got your wireless keyboard or maybe you know you plug in your work keyboard and mouse to it and then you know you could even get HDMI and plug it into your your your, your work monitor. Um, like here, what I've actually got is this isn't plugged into the mains, but I've plugged it in, plugged the dock into a battery pack, so it's keeping the um, battery um, charged up. You, you know, as I'm doing this, um, and then you know, and then you do you kind of do what you want to do. Um, let's come down here. Oop, I don't want to go underneath the map. Oh, teleport target to cursor. Kill the free cam. And there we are. Zombri does have this rather odd bug, doesn't it? Where your character keeps looking um, upwards. <laughs> so there we go. So there we are, my friends. I just wanted to show you that. Just to kind of open your eyes. Because although the Steam Deck is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. And a really nice product. There's an awful lot of I, mean, I don't like I don't want to be disparaging by saying fanboys for the Steam Deck, but there's lots of people who, who shout about the Steam Deck and don't really point out its disadvantages compared to something that is Windows based. Um, and obviously, you know, the beauty of having a Windows based machine is the fact that it is so versatile in being able to do things like this. However, obviously, the disadvantage of having a Windows based machine is that it's Windows. So it's glitchy, it's not optimised for a small device, and the battery life is terrible compared to the Steam Deck. Um, but you can do things like this. So anyway, what do you think? What would you do if you could you know, do, do this sort of thing? Is this a valid way into PC gaming, the fact that you can do something like this? Is the fact that you've got to add on all these accessories a pain in the arse? And you'd be like, actually, no, you know, you're, be you're better off waiting, saving up, and doing this with a gaming laptop. I mean, I don't know how much gaming laptops are, but I'd imagine they're six hundred, seven hundred dollars. You know, a thousand pounds in the UK. Whereas if you can pick up one of these, and the, I think what we're going to see is the prices of these devices are going to go down as there's more competition coming into the market. Um, picking one of these, maybe, maybe a way of doing it. So there we go. Put your questions in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more, same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.